Hi, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make this video today as a quick shout out to the person who made um, this enclosure because it's an extremely good enclosure but also because I watched some videos now to put this together and it makes no sense whatsoever. So I wanted to show you what you need to print and what you don't need to print and I'll then go downstairs and I'll show you the rest on the machine itself. So we need to print these covers, obviously these backing plates, obviously twice. These backing plates are held together by one of these here I don't know if you can see that by, sorry, by one of these clips here. So we can see that on the screen. So by one of these clips here and also some of these. That's what you use to hold the two buckets together. Okay? It doesn't tell you to print this twice. So when you print this twice, don't print these again because you only need these once. These are the numbers that go on the top, which I'll show you when you go downstairs. These three are the action panels. So these go at the front of the unit to show you what your temperature is, lad, 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 when you've fitted your gauges in here. You only need to print two of these. If you want gauges on both sides, you print this one and this one. If you want to print gauge, if you want to have no gauge on one side, you print this one. It's as simple as that. Again, on this one here, these are the two buckets. It depends. These, these are the two buckets. You need to print both of these, in my opinion, even though it tells you to print either because if you don't, you will have nothing in one side, so how can it possibly read right? This is a smaller one, which takes the bags of silica gel, and this is a tall one, which you fill up with silica gel. So you can print two of those, or two of those, if that's the way you want to run it, but you must do that. These clips have to be printed twice. There's not enough, there's only enough to do one side. They have to be printed twice, which I'll show you downstairs how they go on, but that's another thing it doesn't show you. Again, these have to be printed, the covers have to be printed twice, you must print them the way they are. They are slightly different, the covers. So two of that one and two of that one. One of that one, only two of that one, only one of that one. Two of the three of those and both of them are a combination of and two sets of these. I hope that makes a bit more sense. I printed the transparent covers in 0 0.20 PLA. These you, these items here were print the yellow bits on my printer were printed in 0.16 all the bits other bits are printed in 0.16 so i'm going to go downstairs show you on the camera what it looks like when it's built and a quick overview of it going together because it really is simple hope that helps okay so the lighting's not the best in here but we'll just have to see what we can do okay so let's just show you this so i've showed you the parts upstairs it now makes a bit more sense about these so yeah, you need to print two of these, not three. And I have two on this side and I have one on this side. Be careful where you buy these from. These ones are for Amazon and they're not very good at all. But you can see how it goes together. Now to change a filament is very easy because I thought it might be a bit of a pain, but it isn't. It's as simple as that. And as you can see here, this is my silica gel in here. Right, the thing I showed you you have to print twice is this yellow bar that joins them both together. These are the type of clips that you'll print that it goes on with. Well, that's what I've used. The one on the video wasn't making any sense to me. And I've put three there, two there, one there, and one on top. Holds together perfectly. Absolutely fine, no issues whatsoever. These little things, these little clips here, so there they are, let me show you this. I don't have P I didn't have any PETG, so all these do is this they just clip in to there. There's some little there's a recess in the plastic on here. These just clip in on one side and that means you can do that with them. Hope that makes sense. These are the two number things that you only need to print off once. There with that support bracket on the printer bed, you only need to print these once obviously. Does, I hope this does make a bit more sense. Obviously, when you're fitting, I hope, sorry about the camera now we've got lines on because of the Hertz. I should have put it on auto Hertz, but it'll have to do. When you take, obviously, to fit these, you've got to take this off and this off. Make sure you obviously get them colour matched and push them back on gently. And that's about it. It's as simple as that. The whole build, I think, took me 18 hours to print. These are obviously the longest. I could have done it in shorter, but I've done these in higher quality, the yellow parts. But like I say, it's not a long print. This just goes back in and lies in like that. It's a simp It really is a simple build. It, 
watching the video on YouTube makes no sense, like I said. So hope this one works and I hope you're better for this. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks if you watched yesterday's video and yeah, hope it helps you. If it does, please leave a comment saying it did and I'll try and do, I've got some more videos coming up on this printer. I'm probably going to do a good series on this. So, and again, thanks very much. Have a great day.